How's it going folks? It's Keaton here. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're going over how to be more productive. But what's really cool about this productivity stuff that we're going to talk about today is their one time actions that can have a huge impact down the line. I'm not really big on like hustle culture or all of these hippie woo woo things that you have to do to you know, make yourself more successful. I'm way more about practical things that actually help me, you know, get things done faster or avoid distraction or whatever it is. And that's one thing I should mention is that as productivity or focus is just the absence of distraction. And that's what we're going to talk about today in a lot of these examples in these Chrome extensions. Really quick before we get into the video, if you're interested in coaching for your online business, Go ahead and check out the link down below and you can book a call with me. I've never had a negative review with coaching and I know you'll have a great experience with it. So go check it out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So here we are inside my Chrome browser. And the first thing you'll notice here is that it looks a little bit different when I open a new tab. And that's because I have this momentum Chrome extension that just allows you to say it says, hey, good morning. What's your main focus for today? You can take toggle this off and on and then it has a good quote there for you and like a relaxing picture of nature. This just helps me feel less stressed because the alternative is seeing like all these social media websites or your most visited websites, uh, Google asking you to type something in. And this is just much more, again, relaxing. So that's number one. It's completely free to download. It's called Momentum. Go check it out. Number two is going to be Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator. So if I come here, uh, it's now changed to Newsfeed Eradicator and you can actually do it on multiple accounts. So if you come here to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, I can eradicate all of the feeds on each one of these sites. So let's go to Facebook and let's go to YouTube and you'll see what my screen looks like when I'm working. So if I need to go visit Facebook, which I do because I work on Facebook, all I have is these ads on the side right here, which I should get rid of, to be honest. But um, right here, I don't have a news feed, so I'm not going to get distracted by that, which is really nice. Then if we come to YouTube, same thing. It's just a quote super nice this one has saved me so much i'm sure because when you go to youtube like let's toggle this off of youtube and we can just do it for five minutes look at that there's so many things that i could click on here that are distracting that are going to you know derail me off of what i'm trying to do for work that day so that's number two newsfeed eradicator again amazing couldn't recommend this one more it honestly seriously changed my life when i downloaded it all right that brings us to number three which is probably the most life-changing one on this list and it's video speed controller so if we go to youtube and click on uh, one of these videos for example let's see oh not that one that's a live video let's click on alex hormozzi's latest video you can see up here in the corner you can barely see it but we'll be able to zoom in on that I can click on this and just fast forward so I could watch this at double speed. Now this is a short, so I wouldn't probably watch it on double speed, but it becomes really convenient. You might be wondering like, hey, Keaton, I can just come here on YouTube and change this to two times speed. And you'd be right when you say that, but what's really cool is this works on any site. So places like webinars that you, you know, live webinars that you can't speed up, uh, you can speed up with video speed control, you can watch it faster. And I've even done it like you can go up to, I don't know, probably infinitely fast on here. So sometimes there will be like a 40 minute webinar on a page and I'll just speed it up to like 10 times speed and it's done in 40 minutes because I didn't actually want to watch the webinar. I just want the button to appear under the webinar so that I can click and go to the next page. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just an Internet marketing thing where uh, people will require you to watch 30 to 40 minutes of a video before a button appears on the page. And so if you video speed control that, there you go. You've watched 30 to 40 minutes of the video and the button will appear. Sometimes it doesn't work. You just have to hang out on the page for that long, but it's all right. But I can honestly say that this uh, extension has probably saved me like a uh, thousand hours of my life so far, and it's going to keep saving me more. I think it's honestly super life changing. All right, great. Now let's go on to number four, which is going to be ad blocker. Now I heard about this. Um, a lot and i never thought i'm like oh i don't really want to do it but it's actually really nice especially on like have you ever gone to a website and you're like trying to read what's on the website and there's just like a million ads trying to encroach on what you're reading all this stuff it gets super annoying and uh, ad block really helps with that one thing i would say is that if you're a digital marketer uh, you'll have to turn it off and on depending on the website like you can't look at facebook ad library with ad block on so you'll have to check out the settings there, but it's been really nice just in reducing distractions and making things really nice. And by the way, you guys, all the links for these will be below in the description so you can download them. 
All right, guys, the next one I want to talk about is also pretty life changing and it's called Sales Handy. And Sales Handy allows you to see when somebody has read an email, which is super nice. So let's go to my email and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see I've got Sales Handy activated here. And if I go to my sent email, you can see that all of these are read. These ones are unread or they were sent, you know, somewhere else. But you can see this one is sent, but unread. And guys, having this Chrome extension is super nice, especially if you're in sales or prospecting or whatever, you can see if somebody's actually read the email and then you can follow up and say, hey, I saw you read my email. And they'll be like, wait, how do you know I read your email? Uh, maybe don't say that, but it is super life changing. I told my whole team to get on this and they love it. So highly recommend Sales Andy. Great, that brings us to our last major one here, which is I don't care about cookies. I actually learned about this just a couple of days ago and blew my mind. Thank you, Sam Ovens. But this one makes it so when you go on a website, they're not like attacking you with the take the cookie thing and you have to accept the cookies. Like I hate it when that happens. First of all, it's super distracting, but also these little like hits of distractions from the cookie thing or from ads or whatever it is, really take a toll on your productivity and your what your brain's able to focus on. So the more you eliminate, the more it will help out. And it's just saving you like two seconds every single time you go to a website and that adds up over time. It really does. All right, cool. Now let's talk about just a few bonus ones. These aren't really productivity, but they're, they help. Uh, one is keywords everywhere. This kind of gives you data. I, you know, if I went and searched something like, uh, let's just search my name, for example, in Google, you can see all of, you know, the trends for this, how many people have searched it, all that stuff, it is paid. So, you know, if you want that, you can use it. It's not super critical, but it has helped me when I'm actually doing keyword research. And then a couple other ones that if you work in design or anything else, Colorzilla and what font are very helpful. So what font does, let's say I go to like the active campaign website here and I click on what font and then I click here, it's gonna tell me what font something is. I'm like, oh, that's nice. I, I wanna know what font that is so that I can use it on my website or whatever. You can see that. And then same with Colorzilla, if I click on this one and I do pick color from page, you can see up here, right there, it's going to pick wherever I am. So if I'm like, oh, I really like this color blue, I can grab that color, it'll copy it to my clipboard, and then I can replicate that in whatever I'm designing. So super useful, as you can see. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Again, if you're looking for coaching for your online business, go ahead and check out the link below. I hope this was helpful. These things are things I use every single day, and I wanted to share them with you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.